today I want to share with you how to edit multiple reframed 360 videos into a single timeline using the Insta360 app so you can make your own high quality mobile edit just like this. Even though this footage was shot on the One X2, One R and One X users can absolutely follow along as well. So in this video, you will learn how to reframe 360 video, like a time shift and just general walking shots. Then you will learn how to add multiple reframed 360 videos into a single timeline. Then you will learn how to add music. And then finally, how to export your video in high quality for social media. All the footage you're about to see was shot in Richmond Park, which is like a open safari, which you can drive into. And there's deers running around in the fields around you. I then drove for two minutes into the park and this is how I edited the time shift in the app. First of all, let's adjust some settings to get rid of some annoying things. Over here, there is a floating help icon. So if you want to get rid of it, go to settings, go to help button settings and switch it off and go back. Then scroll down to the shot on watermark and switch this off. So now you won't see the Insta360 watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your video. Then go to logo and at the bottom of your video, you will see a black patch. So to turn this off, tap none and go back. Then go to your album, tap any footage in your album. And if I pause this video for a second, you'll see these tracking points all across your video. So to turn this off, go to settings and switch off identify tracking targets. You don't need an AI to pick a target for you. You can do this by yourself. So to do this, just hold down on the screen and then it will say drag to pick subject. So let's say I wanna make this black car my subject. I can now drag a box over it and tap start tracking. The first shot in my video is a time shift shot. So to edit a time shift, there are three steps. The first step is to trim your video to get rid of the parts where you start and stop recording. The second step is to reframe your time shift to choose which view you want to show your audience. And the third step is to add speed. So starting off with the first step, I'm going to tap the trim icon. And I want to start this video when the car is on the road and when it's up to speed, which is about here. So I'll tap the scissor icon and I'm gonna drag this towards the end of the video just before I stop the recording. About here. So this highlighted part is the part of the video I want to keep and the unhighlighted part is the part which will be discarded. So I'll tap the scissor icon here. This is the duration of the highlighted part. So if you want to make a refinement, you can hold on to this white arrow and drag it left or right. And I'm gonna make it 120 seconds, which is two minutes. And once you're happy with your selection, tap the tick to confirm. The next step is to reframe your time shift. So to do this, I'm going to go to the beginning of my video. I'm going to go to options and make sure that direction lock is on. Direction lock is kind of hard to explain. So if you want to know what it is, how it works, then definitely check out my Best 360 Camera Tips video, which will explain it in more detail. So now that I have Direction Lock on, I'm going to make sure I'm at the beginning of my video and place the road in the center and add a pivot point here. I don't like the fisheye distortion, so I'm going to change the pivot point to a linear view which will zoom in and also get rid of fisheye distortion. And since I have direction lock on, there is no need for me to add any more pivot points because it will follow the center of the road. So now that the reframing is done, the final step is to add speed. So I'm going to go to the first second of my video, go to the speed icon and choose the fastest speed, which is 16 times hyperlapse and drag this towards the end of my shot. which is 
over here. I leave the last second as normal speed and tap tick to confirm. So if I play this back, you can now see the car following the road at 16 times speed. To save your shot, make sure to tap the back icon and now all your edits are saved. For the second shot, I was using the Best360 selfie stick and I just started from one side and I just gradually brought the stick all the way around me and this is how I edited it. To edit the second shot, I'm going to follow the same steps as before. Trim and then edit. So first I will trim the shot and I'm going to begin this shot when I start to walk and move the stick around me, which is about here and tap the scissor icon. And then I will end the shot just before I stop moving it around me, which is about here. I'll just make it four seconds and tap the scissor icon and tap the tick to confirm. For this shot, especially for these small shots, I recommend adding a minimum of three pivot points. So think about your beginning, middle and end. So at the beginning of the shot, I want to start on me over here and add a pivot point. Then I'll go to the middle over here and add a pivot point and then go to the end and add a pivot point here. So if I play this back, the shot is now following me around and then go back to save the edit. For the third shot, I had the selfie stick fully extended to 150 centimeters in the air. And then as I walked towards the tree, I just slowly started putting the stick behind me until it looks like a follow shot. For the third shot, we'll use the same steps as before, trim and then reframe. So I'll tap the trim icon and I want this shot to begin as I bring the stick down, which is about here and tap the scissor icon. So this is where I want my video to start. I want it to end about here, the six second mark. So I tap the scissor icon here. I'm happy with this selection. Tap the tick to confirm. So now the second step is to reframe this video. So first I want to reveal the tree and then me in the shot. So I'm gonna position the tree in the middle Add a pivot point here, change the view to linear, so now I'm not in shot. Then in the middle, about here, I'm again going to position the tree in the middle. Add a pivot point and then switch to a wider view. Then go to the end of the shot, add a pivot point and switch it to an ultra wide view. So if I go back to the beginning and play this back, you have the tree and then I reveal myself walking towards the tree and then go back to save your edit. For the fourth shot, I extended the selfie stick all the way as high up as I could into the tree and then gradually and very slowly, I just started bringing the selfie stick down until it was eye level and this is how I edited it. For the fourth shot, it's the same as before, trim and reframe. So I'm going to tap the trim icon and I'm going to start this video when I bring the selfie stick down, which is about here. So I'll tap the scissor icon here and I'll stop the shot when it comes close to my face, which is about here and tap the scissor icon and confirm my selection then go to the beginning of the shot and I want to look up, add a pivot point here. I'll leave it as ultra wide and then towards the middle of the shot, I want to look towards the side of the tree at the yellow leaves, add a pivot point here. I'll change it to linear so we can fill the frame with the yellow leaves 
and then just before the end of the video I want to reveal myself over here at the pivot point and if I play this back you now have a shot which looks like this and then tap back to save your edit. To add your reframed and edited shots into a single timeline, go to Stories, My Stories, and Create a Story, and here are all your shots. Tap a shot to open it up, and here you'll see different views of your shot, so you can import your front lens view of the shot, the back lens view of the shot, but this is the one that we are interested in, because this is the one with the scissor icon that you reframed and edited, so select it and then go back and you want to add these shots in the order you want them in your timeline and make sure you select the one with the scissor icon and do it for all your shots. Tap the tick to confirm and then the Insta360 app will add all your shots into a single timeline. Now if you did add it in the wrong order then you can move it around. So when you're in this view with no shots selected you can hold down one of the shots and just move it around. So I can hold it and switch its position. This shot is quite long, it is nine seconds long. So I want to make it shorter. I can go to tweak and tap trim. And I want to trim this shot down to three seconds. So I'm gonna trim it from the start until over here. Then I'll go to the end of the shot and trim it down to a three second shot. Over here and tap the tick to confirm. The shot at the end is pretty long, it's seven seconds. So I will shorten this one as well. So I'll go to tweak, trim, go to the end marker and trim the end of the video. So it's six seconds instead. And tap the tick to confirm. If you want to add music to your video, tap the double arrow icon. Then you have two options, music and ratio. Tap music, tap local, so you can add your own music. And to find music on your phone, I'm going to use sound picker on the Samsung S10. And I'm going to pick a sound I downloaded from Epidemic Sound and tap done to import it. Then go to edit music and now you can pick when you want your music to begin from. So I'm going to start my music from here. And if you want to, you can mix your music 100% so that you will not hear any of the original audio from the video. And once you're happy with your music, tap the double arrow icon. I'll just pause the video. And now your music has been added. If you want to change the aspect ratio of your video, you can go over here to change the aspect ratio, but I'll leave it as 16 by nine. And if I play this back from the beginning, you now have a video with several shots put together. The final step is to export your video. So to do this, tap the export button in the top right hand corner and your video will begin exporting. But if you want the best, highest quality possible, tap on quick export, then tap the cogwheel next to custom, tap the highest resolution, the highest bit rate and tap save. And your video will begin exporting again with the highest video quality possible. And that's it. You now know how to reframe 360 video and put together multiple reframed 360 videos into a single timeline and export it at the highest quality possible. So that's how you edit a story in the Insta360 app. There's plenty more editing tutorials to come, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And if you have a question or an idea for a new video, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.